Welcome again. Now let's look at what we call the quotient rule as our second rule of differentiation. Quotient rule given that a function f of x is given by u of x divided by v of x. This is our function now. Where u of x is a function of x and v of x is a function of x. Two, these two functions are divided. So it's a quotient. f of x is a quotient of two functions. To get an a derivative of such functions, we apply what we call quotient rule. And the quotient rule, f prime of x shall be given by, you first take the reverse of this one, that is u of x, you forward it, that you have v of x, with a prime, you get the derivative of the denominator, multiplied by the derivative of the numerator, multiplied by the denominator, that is u of x, minus, because we are dividing from the loss of the value rule, minus u prime of x, that is the derivative of the numerator, multiplied by the denominator, then you divide by the numerator, denominator squared, sorry, denominator squared. So dy, f prime of x is given by, in short of this, it shall be v, v du, minus u dv over v squared as your quotient rule of differentiation. Quotient rule of differentiation. So we shall use this one, v du minus u dv over v squared to get the derivative of that one. Where f from y is the same as dy over dx from the loss of derivative. So let's have an example. Example 1, f of x is equal to tan of x. f of x is equal to tan of x. Where our variable is x. And y varies as tan of x. So, tan of x can be written as sine of x over cosine of x. Sine of x over cosine of x. So, we know that now our f of x is equal to sine of x over cosine of x but we now let the numerator u to be equal to sine x what is du derivative of u shall be cosine of x let also v to be equal to cosine of x what is dv dv shall be equal to negative negative sine of x if you get the derivative of a cosine you get a negative sign. So you take this and replace in the formula over f prime shall be equal to v du minus u dv over v squared. So if this is our v, what shall be our v squared? If you square cosine, you get cos squared of x. So you have all the parameters, you just replace in the formula. That one shall be v du v du. That is cos x multiplied by cos x. Minus u dv. Minus u dv. That is minus sine x multiplied by negative sine x. Everything divided by v squared. v squared is cos x. As x squared. So if you synthesize, this part becomes cosine squared of x plus this times this shall be positive sine squared of x sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. But from the first rule of trigonometry, first trigonometric identity, cos x squared of x plus sine squared of x is equal to 1. So the numerator of these functions becomes 1, 1 over cosine squared of x to be our f prime of x. But 1 over sine cosine is called sec. So f prime of x can be written as sec squared of x as our derivative of that. So you can practice other functions involving quotient rule using the formula. f prime of x is given by v du minus u dv over v squared. Where v, v is the denominator, denominator. And u 
is the numerator of the function. The numerator and the numerator are given that way respectively. We will give you the derivative of f of x using the quotient rule. This has stopped there for now. Thank you. Let's go to the next example.